Hello, gorgeous Leo. Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope you're doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and messages that Spirit would like to bring through. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So you might see a sign or a symbol or a message that really resonates for you. Take notice of that. Spirit is speaking to you directly. Let's see, this card here is your first card. So you have the wish card. This is a major blessing, a major blessing of abundance flowing into your life. Your heart's desire is ready to come true and you're ready for this. You're ready for this abundance. You're ready for this next step. You're ready for this magic to happen in your life. And it is certainly coming in. It is coming in. It is coming in quickly. Over the coming weeks, you're going to start to see this manifest. A wish is going to come true in some way. And that is it's beautiful. And spirit has your back here. Spirit is with you every step of the way. They're, they're telling me they have been with you every step of the way. So maybe this has been a journey to get to this point of manifestation. We have the snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. So listen to your intuition. There may be some kind of healing energy in, in the coming weeks as well that's needed. Um, healing for yourself, emotionally, mentally, physically, or maybe someone close to you. Use your intuition though in how you can bring light and love and healing to a situation. There may also be a better path that that spirit is trying to guide you down a better path and you'll know that you'll know that it's a better path or a better choice because deep down you know this intuitively you know this and so just be careful with choices over the coming weeks and make sure that it's in alignment with this better path and what your intuition is telling you. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit. Guidance for Leo. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo, please. Oh, this one here wants to come out. So let's see. It's the emerald, which is the heart center, the heart chakra. Unconditional love, beauty, recovery, and healing past lives. So you may be going through a, a phase right now, a situation, certain events where you're healing where you're healing your heart and it might be linked into past life energy. It might not, but there's this, yeah, this healing energy that's coming through very strongly. You might be recovering from something, recovering from something that's been toxic for you or recovering healing. So where in your life do you feel that you're going to be or knowing that you will be recovering um, there's a sense here of you moving on, getting onto, uh, the right energy. So this means being around the right people, being in the right environments. And this seems to be part of the recovery and unconditional love is also something that spirit can give you God source energy, of course. So connection into that energy will be very healing, very supportive. In the coming weeks, Amatrine, spiritual guidance, angelic realms, clear stress and truths revealed. So yes, spiritual guidance, angelic realms, your angel, your guardian angel is around you, protecting you. You can connect into the angels if you want to. There's also a need to clear stress. Clear away the stress, what no longer serves you. And also a truth is going to be revealed if it hasn't already been revealed. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo. Okay, this one here. Water. So there may be a water sign around you that is significant in your life. A Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. 
What is overwhelming you in your waking life? There might be an overwhelming situation. There might be something that's repressed that that's in the subconscious that might need to come out into your consciousness over the coming weeks. How are you traveling emotionally in life? Are you struggling to reach your goals? And this is a dream card. So you may actually be having dreams of water. And so, you know, there's a symbolic meaning there. And if that's the case, these questions um, need to be answered because it might bring some clarity. Um, but symbolically, this is about your emotions and something may be overwhelming you. There might be some strong emotion towards someone or something that's around you currently or that might be actually coming in over the coming weeks. And you have another dream card here. So let's see. Chased. So being chased in a dream that you have now, that may be something that you have had recently or maybe will have over the coming weeks. There's also symbolically um, a sense here of you wanting to um, move away from a situation. You're kind of running away from someone or a situation that no longer serves you. Also, it could be a warning if you're feeling... Um, a dreaming of being chased. It might be a warning that someone is, mm, someone has it out for you. Someone wants to bring you down. So what are you running away from? What is making you feel overwhelmed? And what are you afraid of or are unwilling to face? So looking a little bit into your subconscious here with this card. You might also be chasing someone or an idea or something in your life as well over the coming weeks. So you might be feeling like you are, things are fast paced and you're kind of running around, you're chasing things. Um, so if that's the case, it, it, it is important to reflect on that as well. Is it really worth your time? Is it something you want to be doing for the long term? Is it just a short term thing? Angels and guys, bring through a message for Leo, please, with this deck. Happy family. So this is overwhelmingly a good card, a beautiful energy that Spirit's showing you. There is a beautiful connection here in your family. So if that does not resonate and you have some broken relationships, this may be a good time for you to reach out or they may reach out to you. A creation of this energy, this harmony, whether it is with blood relatives or uh, friends that are like family, your chosen family. There are some really good times and connections here that I'm seeing. And we have hostilities and there might be some hostilities maybe with family, okay? Um, but hostility is in some way, maybe in your workplace or um, there was that kind of feeling of someone being hostile, someone kind of chasing you, wanting to bring you down or um, kind of hounding you for something, um, putting pressure on you. So just be aware of that energy um, over the coming weeks. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo, please. Bring through a message for Leo. Bring through a message for Leo. This one here is your card. And it's the Apprentice of Cups. So the Apprentice, of course, is about learning. Learning how things are emotionally within you and in relationships. Because that's what Cups is about. It's about the emotions. So it's understanding and learning through the experiences that you're having emotionally at the moment. And we have the Ten of Cups, which is a great sign because this is, you know, very much in alignment with happy families and happiness and contentment coming into your life, flowing into your life. There's an abundance here of that. So it looks like you're going to get to a balanced place emotionally, which is really great. And this is also a wish come true. This is... Contentment, happiness, a wish come true, those vibrations and energies seem to be around you a lot in the coming weeks. The Eight of Cups, so we have more cup energy here. 
The Eight of Cups is about walking away, moving away from a situation that you've been emotionally connected to. Whether the situation was positive or negative for you, there's emotional connection there and you're deciding to move away from it, walk away from it. So some changes perhaps are happening or will happen, decision making perhaps, um, to move in a direction that's right for you. The Seven of Cups, choices. You have choices and it's about being, see, this is interesting because you're moving away from something, walking away from something that has been emotionally, you're being emotionally involved in, um, good or bad, and now you're looking at your options. That's what I'm seeing. You're looking at your options. Mm Mm-hmm. And the Ace of Swords, success, Um, success in following through with your ideas, taking some kind of action, communication seems to be an important factor here. Um, But yeah, brilliant new idea and having success with your communications and also with some kind of action step here that you're taking in the, in the, the next couple of weeks. We have the Four of Swords, and this is mentally you're taking a break. Any stress or anxiety that's been around you, um, you're choosing to disconnect from it, which might be a very healthy thing to do. So let's take a look now at the pendulum. So if you would like to ask your angels, guides, spirit, a question through the pendulum, then think of that question now. And it looks like that's a yes. So check in with your own intuition. See how that resonates for you and the question that you asked about. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope you have a fantastic few weeks ahead. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has supported my channel. Thank you so very much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so, so much. Take care, Leo. Stay blessed. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.